Hi Curious Owls, in this episode uh, I'd like you to um, go with me through an endeavor of modifying this um, clock. Uh, it's a regular clock, it shows the time, the date, the temperature and also has a backlight functionality with changing colors. What I don't like about it and what I would like to change is the fact that it has two sets of batteries four AAA batteries and two small LR44 batteries. The small batteries are used to power the screen, the controller that uh, keeps the time and controls the screen and uh, basically the main functionality. While the big AAA batteries all they do is uh, power the colored backlight through a LED. What I would like it to how I would like it to work is to draw all its power from the big batteries S because those last longer and I don't need to change the little batteries every year or so. This clearly wasn't meant to be open, but we'll open it anyway. Ta da! Let's visually inspect the board. Um, you can see here we have a plus six volts terminal coming through this wire from this metal lead over here so this is where the first battery goes in plus minus the batteries as you can see go one up one down one up one down so essentially we have uh, pl uh, plus minus plus minus plus minus plus minus so this is minus also here with the slot for the small batteries also we have plus and minus and we can see that this metal strip goes all the way around so it's a common ground for both the four batteries and the two little batteries and on this side this is where the common ground goes to the to this uh, integrated uh, board this is the plus three volts from the two little batteries which together should provide up to three volts and as I said in the beginning, this is the plus 6 volts coming from the four batteries. What we want to do is uh, attach ourselves to this metal strip over here after the first two batteries, because after the first two batteries we have three volts. Draw, um, make a, uh, drill a hole through this plastic case, take out a wire just like this one, and with this wire come all the way here. such that we can uh, give power to the chip and the uh, LCD and, uh, and the rest of the board 
from the big batteries and uh, it will only work with two of them if we put all four of them in we also have a uh, power for the LED and the other functionality let's also do some measurements on the board I've already inserted the four batteries and the two little ones and now if we take our multimeter and we see here between ground and this pin over here we have 2.3 volts this is the 3 volt input here we confirm the 6 volt input it's less in both cases because the all the batteries are somewhat drained we can also see that this pin is has 169 169 same same so these four pins maybe are linked to these four buttons and if we would press them and measure at the same time we would see the voltage change and trigger some functionality in the integrated microcontroller but we don't care about that now also these three other pins have some other voltages which are related to the functionality of blinking this LED so if we press the buttons you see the LED is now uh, changing color and uh, that's what that's because the voltage on its pin is, is varying which is controlled using this capacitor and these pins uh, we're not interested in, in trying to understand how this works right now all we want to do is bring the 3 volts from the AAA batteries to to this point over here through uh, by drilling a hole through this plastic and connecting to this uh, metal strip out of curiosity let's also check the power consumption of uh, the screen, the microcontroller and this little buzzer I'm not interested in the LED so what I'll first do is remove all the batteries This one's hard to extract. There, I just used two of these batteries. Place them in my battery holders. And while we're doing this, I also We'll test our theory that two of these batteries can uh, do exactly what these two batteries can do. That is, plug them into this this place. So uh, this is the negative terminal. So negative terminal goes to negative terminal over here. Come on. Okay, now positive terminal. Goes to the positive terminal over here. Now let's switch our amp our multimeter to amps, like milliamp range. And let's check the power consumption. Come on. So we see about 15 milliamps when it's uh, singing, and then apparently zero. It's not zero, it's um, it's just that the scale is too big. So let's go to microamps. Let's measure again. Get these straight. Alright. Uh, 
So now when the music is singing, we see a minus one. That's an error because uh, milliamps is too big for the microamp scale. But as soon as the music stops, we see the actual power consumption of just the microcontroller and the LED, which is only eight microamps. So two of these batteries should last a, should last a long time for just eight micrograms. Now let's get back to drilling the hole. First let's remove the metal strip. Now let's remove the insulation from the wires. Now that that's over, let's make a quick test. Let's put two batteries. So we start from the ground up, not from positive down, that's very important. So one, two, and now Let's measure volts between ground, which is here, or here, should be the same thing. Okay, so ground and all right, we're not getting anything. Yes, we are, but a bit of a predicament. Okay. So we have had 2.7 volts. Should be the same as this one. Actually, no, no, no. This is this. This was the plus. This is ground coming from here. Come on, I need to do something. Okay, that wasn't very gentle of me, I didn't break anything. Okay. We have the volts, so let's see if this actually works before wrapping it up. It appears it does work. Oh, come on. 
Cool. All we have to do now is the final welding.